Right. I recently got some requests for a Raven Primal maintenance video, and since the Raven Primal is a lost gun, I don't know anybody who shoots them anymore, uh, here we are in the Dungeon of Lost Things, my basement. Right. So I'll start off with the things that'll tell you to do in the manual, which basically tells you how to take care of the LPR, the bolt, the ram, and the detents. So starting off with the LPR. I'd recommend taking this off first because sometimes the poppet doesn't like to come out with it since it's attached. So if it's just hanging loose like that, just if it's hanging loose and it's attached to the poppet, you should be able to just push forward on the bolt pin and it'll come right out. And all you really have to do for this is put a thin layer of your preferred lubricant. I recommend Dial 55, but you can use whatever. Though this has lots of metal parts in it, so I prefer a thicker lube. But put your fur preferred lube around there, and that's really all you have to do with that. Then, second thing you have to take out is the bolt. So just pull straight up on this pin. And it comes right out. And you pull on this cap and it slides out the back. The manual says to lubricate this, but since it's Delrin, you don't really have to. Delrin is self lubricating. And if there's any like performance affecting friction, it can usually be attributed to this O ring needing to be replaced. So you don't really need to worry about that. And the third thing you have to take out, you need a screwdriver floor. In the spare parts kit, they give you this little hex key with the screwdriver part on the end. That's what they give you to use for this part, but I recommend using an actual screwdriver because the hex key is just a pain in the ass. So, here we go. There's a little screw in here. Just unscrew it. And you have to take out your bolt before you can actually see the screw. So then just unscrew it. And there it is. And now the ram should just slide right out. If it doesn't, give it a little twist. So take the ram out of the ram sleeve. All you have to do is put your preferred lubricant on these three parts that are sticking out. You don't really have to lube these indented parts, which I've seen people do and annoys me, because they're not really touching anything, so there's no friction to be avoided. And I'd also recommend lubing this blue o-ring here because it's constantly hitting against the ram sleeve and if there's nothing to protect it against that it's just going to get the crap beat out of it. And then fourth thing is the detents and the eyes which you remove with a regular Phillips head screwdriver and just unscrew this screw here on the detent panel. So there's the detent. It's a regular ball detent. So all you really have to do to clean it out is run it against a regular cloth. And it should work like a ballpoint pen if there's any grease or paint built up in there. And just clean it by itself. That's all you really have to do to it. I'm going to put this back on so I don't rip the eyes. First, you should wipe off the eyes themselves with a cloth, because if there's any paint built up on there, they're brake beam eyes, so it'll register as the paintball being in the chamber and the eyes won't work. So you need to wipe those off. Then here's the stuff that it doesn't tell you how to do in the manual. Once I get this panel on. Alright. The regulators. And this is the low pressure regulator and there's a little slit right here that you can unscrew and this cap comes off you don't really have to worry about that and then inside the regulator itself is a washer and a spring you don't really have to worry about these unless there's filth built up on them then just wipe them off 
What you do have to lube is the valve body, which you need needle nose pliers to get out. So there it is. You don't need to worry about this little part popping out here. That doesn't really touch anything. But put some lube around here. And I like to put some around this pin because it's going into a thin cavity in the marker. And there might be some friction there. And the HPR works the same way. There's a cap on here. Just unscrew it. There's a spring in the washer, slightly bigger than on the LPR, so you can tell the difference. But the washer is the same thing. And for this, you need thinner needle nose pliers. Regular ones I find don't work. But it's the same idea. Just lube the part of the valve body that's poking out, and preferably this pin. So that's about it for taking it apart. Then, also, it's good to have a swab around or a, sque a swab, so then you can just stick it right down these individual tubes to get any gunk that's built up in there out. Then that's about it for maintaining the Raven Primal and taking it apart. So if you have any questions or comments, comment.